Hi everyone, welcome to Tangle with Tracy Ann. One of the things that I love to do is sew and I really enjoy going to quilt shows and seeing the fabulous quilts that people create. I thought I'd take our inspiration this week from those quilters and create a block called Weaved Star and then add our tangles to it. Start your tile by drawing a line straight down the middle and then another one in the opposite direction. Divide each of these sections in half again so that you end up with 16 squares. To draw the star pattern I'm using a Micron PN. You could use an 01 if you like but I find the PN's just that little bit thicker. And in the centre you can see I'm dividing those squares in half, then drawing a line down and then across. So it's got that little peak in the centre and do the same on every side. So those two middle squares are divided in half diagonally. Go down the edge and then across so that those corner squares are actually untouched they're just outlined and there you have the star pattern now I'm going to join one diagonal right through the center to the other side and do the same again from one side to the other through that center point now to do the weave patterns I'm just imagining that that's going underneath and just crossing that line turn the tile and do the same on that side and then the same on that side until we finally got all four sides done and erase all the pencil lines especially if you're going to be using watercolor pencils or colored pencils because the pencil line sets into the background and you can't remove it once the paint's on top before you decide on your patterns and colors it's handy to just have a flick through pinterest and pick out some designs you like. So you, there you can see there's a weave star, sometimes called a woven star. And anything that appeals to you can give you inspiration. The patterns in the fabrics and the colors that they put together. I particularly like that one, so I might think about that later on. Another place you can look is to go actually into Google and search images there. So I can see that bedspread and I, I quite like those colors. So I'm going to zoom in on that and maybe I'll use this for the inspiration for my first tile. I've written a blog post about drawing this pattern. So if you would like to head over to my website, I'll leave a link below and you can see this detailed instruction of how to draw the pattern. The fun part now is to add tangles. I'm starting off with flux and you can see once I get to that line I need to continue as if that's going underneath so it looks like that same fabric if, if it was a quilt was a strip going right across. I want a contrasting pattern now on this strip so I've chosen floors because it's fairly open and all the tangles I'm using on this tile are traditional Zentangle patterns. I'll now do another organic tangle and so I'm drawing poke root. And for my final pattern I'll go back to something with straight lines and this is called Ambler. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to color this tile with watercolor pencils and I've chosen the color scheme of reds, blues with a touch of green. Because I'm working on a tan tile it might be a little bit dull so at the end I'll touch it up with some colored pencils. I'm going to activate this colour with a very fine paintbrush. This is a size zero. You can see now that it's dry how the colors have muted. I'm going to go back to my reference photo just to see how the colors play in this quilt. And you can see how those reds and blues and greens sort of carry through the whole quilt. So I'm picking up on the red for this strip and making it predominantly red. You can see I've gone over the edge a little bit and that's easily fixed. I just clean my paintbrush and with plain water go over that little part and then blot it with a tissue. If you catch little things like this before they dry you can often make them not noticeable. In this strip you can see I've featured more of the green colour and then for the final strip I'll make it predominantly blue. In the background in quilts you see this beautiful stitching and often swirly patterns so I thought print omps would be ideal in this situation. I'm using a white gel pen, jelly roll pen and that's why I chose the tan tile so that that white jelly roll sits nicely in the background. Here you can see I'm adding some shadows 
just where those strips overlap. So look at them carefully how they'd fold if they were actually a piece of fabric. And then use your tortillon to blend that in. I'll also add a little bit of shading around the edges of the star. The paint tends to dull the outline, so I'm going around everything again with my black pen. So this is the finished effect using only the watercolour pencils. Let's have a look what happens if I add a little bit more brightness to it with the colour pencils. Using the same design but on a white tile I'm going to pick a different colour scheme. So there it is in the coloured pencils and now I've activated it. I've done print ops in the background with a blue coloured pencil and I'm going to enhance that again with coloured pencils and outline in black. So next let's tackle this design that I liked right in the beginning and I'm going to use a different approach. You can see the suggested colors there. I'm going to start with paint but instead of using watercolor pencils I'm using watercolor paints. Now you can see it's, I'm going in quite dark here with a dark blue and then an, with an even darker blue I'm adding little splotches while that paint's still wet. I'm only working on a couple of sections at a time so that that paint stays quite wet so that I get that textured effect when I drop in the darker colour. You can see that the paint's actually started to dry so I'll touch it up with a bit more wet paint and then go in and add in those splotches. It's important to let the tile dry before you come in with a different colour or those colours will all run in together. Huh, just like that. Fortunately, it's a similar colour, so it won't matter too much. This time I'm going to add different tangles. You may have noticed I added a little bit of brown pen on this tile and this is what it looks like before I touched it up. So I went over it in black and then added 
the very slightest of light blue to the background sand swirl just so that it stands out and there are the three tiles when you're choosing patterns and colors for these tiles it's fun to think of it as a quilt what fabrics would you choose what color schemes would you have in the room that you want to place this particular quilt well i hope you had fun with that i did if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, do that so that you don't miss out on future videos. If you'd like to become a member of my Facebook group, there is a link below this video. And until next time, thanks for watching, stay safe and bye for now. If you'd like to see more of my videos, there are a couple of links here on the screen. You can click on those or head over to my YouTube channel. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button. Thank you.